If you take pictures for a living and the pictures you take end up on the front page of the San Diego Union Tribune, New York Times, the Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, then you are a good photographer and Sandy Huffaker is very good. I've been around the globe into Peru and Haiti, uh, all around Europe, um, of course a lot down in Mexico. His dad was a brilliant political cartoonist and for a while Sandy thought he'd try to follow in his footsteps but when he got a camera for Christmas one year, that was it. And I uh, just fell in love with the cultures and photographing, and documenting uh, all kind of different peoples. He's covered immigration, border issues, civil unrest, wildfires. His work is just extraordinary. But now I walk around town and, oh, the seal guy. You're the sea lion guy. The sea lion guy. Sure, he spent time in Brazil and the Caribbean, covered conflicts and hotspots around the world, but it is in La Jolla Cove, mostly, where Sandy Huffaker found this remarkable specialty. And I just decided on a whim to find this underwater housing right here and uh, kind of go take pictures. I had a lot of time. Uh, most of my work had fallen off uh, due to COVID. His love of snorkeling and photography quickly led to a love for these sea lions and seals. In a protected marine sanctuary like La Jolla Cove, where people can swim with them respectfully. You know, I have actually never touched one, and I will not do that. I, I just, I'm an observer of these sea lions, and I'm not there to, to touch or pet or do anything but just observe and photograph them. He says it helps that he's always been able to hold his breath for a long time. He goes underwater, grabs hold of a rock, and he's in their world on their terms. One of the neat things with the sea lions is they have such a really adorable kind of natural curiosity. And uh, you'll dive down and they'll, you'll, they'll see you. And as you look up, they're usually right in your face. And they're kind of looking at you like, what are you doing? You know, and they, they have a really neat natural curiosity. And then I'll start taking pictures and they'll swim around you. They'll spit a bubble at you every once in a while. And I think it, for a minute, they think you're one of them until they see how slow you are. They swirl around him with astonishing agility and a gracefulness that you don't see on land. Out here in their territory, he is a grateful guest. For Sandy, this place, these experiences have been in their own way healing. It was a very tense time for a photojournalist being in the media. You know, you were getting screamed at a lot, yelled at. There was just a lot of anger and political tension going on. He found his visits out here to be calming and, like any good photographer in time, developed a rapport with his subjects. Only here, there's no setup shots. You can't pose a sea lion. So slowly I've learned how to kind of give them the space they need and then to where they just kind of ignore you and they play on their own. The beauty is in simply letting them be. And it's a really amazing thing. I mean, most of the time we're, we see them in a zoo, we see them, you know, with glass in between. The fact that you can go out and swim with these wild native sea lions is, is a beautiful thing. It's really interesting. And for Sandy Huffaker, page one internationally renowned photographer, it's something else too. A career turn born of a COVID downturn. Who could have seen that coming a few years ago? Now there's a calendar, perhaps one day a book, Whatever else around the world he has documented in photographs, he is now also San Diego's sea lion guy. And to him, that's just fine. You know, if that's on my gravestone, that's okay. You know, uh, we all have to be known as some. Hello from the front porch. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the subscribe button. That way you'll know when there are more videos just like that one to see.